Hi guys, we are at the Holy Land Experience in Orlando, Florida, and this has really been a great adventure. Um, a great friend of ours couldn't come, and so she gave us her ticket, and we tried to come last week, and apparently it was a really big weekend, and so the guy at the front gate was like, if I was you, I would come back next week, because everything is just forever to wait for, so... We were like, okay, we live an hour and a half away, thereabouts, and we were like, we will come back next week. Now, next week is this week, today, and it ended up being that it was 95 degrees. However, um, looks like we have overcast and a great wind going on, so it's kind of cooled everything down considerably. Thank the Lord. God, no. Um, because we were really sweating bullets here and everybody was really kind of hot and cranky and Like no way to be especially at Holy Land um, Cranky is not One of the adjectives that we think about when we're trying to see something that's so spiritual and so meaningful a basis of millions and millions of people's faith in this country so and around the world so we're definitely grateful that God saw fit to kind of give us a little relief from the heat we love florida we expect the heat but we don't expect to burn alive so <laughs> behind us is the temple theater um and housed there is the ark of the covenant the menorah um you also have the manna from heaven um and um there was like a, a high priest in the temple we're here right now with the tomb the roll away tomb of Jesus. We're on the third day. He could not be found because he had risen. Um, so that is beautiful. We have a rock encasement here ahead of me. And it just shows you how it was during those times that this was like the natural state of the city and how everything was built out of, out of stone and mortar. And it gives you a true representation of the times. So we're gonna walk over here and trying to give you a clearer kind of view of everything back in the day. Um, it looks like we had somebody washing rugs and it was typical during that time to lay everything out to dry. There were no washer and dryers, obviously, we all know that. And no, maybe clotheslines were a little bit of a thing, um, but I wouldn't see why it wouldn't be convenient to just hang it outside of the door. We're gonna go up and see if what we could have in the house um, and a standard house may have some fruit and vegetables, a lamb in there. Because you remember, they all were farmers. So it wasn't too far-fetched to have them have, um, you know, an animal in the house from the farm. And then they weave their tapestries right here, too. Their tapestry. So tapestry is kind of like a form of cloth. And they would weave it through there, and they would actually make things out of it. So they could make they could make blankets. They'd make blankets that way, Pillow? or clothes, pillows, pillowcases. This is how they get the um, water. Right here. This was yes. And what would this be? This would be a well, right? And they would dip their they would dip their vase or their vase into the well, and actually get their water for cooking. Oh, they're red ants. Yeah, we should. Christian just showed us a good thing, which is a pile of red hands. And this is how Israel looked back in the day, guys. I mean, what do you guys think of it? Seems... It's nice. awesome. It is. It's so peaceful, right? Yeah. I mean, when you think about kind of like them living like this, and this is... And they had palm trees there, too. They have palm trees. Yeah. yeah. Send this to Melissa. Okay. Melissa, if you don't believe me, I can jump over that. Yeah. You I could. You could jump over so that? Watch me. Okay, he's going to show you his parkour skills. All right, Christian, I think you got enough boo boos as a good job. Good job. So, we're going to go and talk you and walk you through here and see what else of the. Um, yeah, but it's not a good idea. You might step on some of the bushes, and we don't want to damage stuff. So, we're going to go this way. Good, you landed on your feet top notch let's not get too hot Chris because when we get hot we get really irritated all of us so why don't you cool down a little bit yeah 
Those are real. I'm pretty sure they are. And also, I don't know what kind of trees they are, but they're lovely, aren't they? They might have had to fly them in from somewhere. I mean, they're pretty cool. Yeah, I'm pretty sure they... And look at this baby one here. It's really cool. So we still have people coming in. Oh, yeah. We still have people coming in now. Um, and like, I think the last time we came in, we came in at about 2. And that was where the guy was like, you're going to need at least two days to kind of view all of this. Um, and that's why we came back, because it was only about four hours we were going to have. If you look at some of the shows, some of the shows are about almost an hour. So, considering that, with the hour shows... Um, Chris, can you take a picture of some of this stuff for me, like that, and... Oh, yeah. Okay. Yeah, and so, picturing, like, some of the, um, events are... I think we're headed towards the exit, or some of the, uh, viewing is like an hour, we really want to stay more involved. Um, yeah, this is more the front of it, leaving out, so we're gonna head back in. Okay, Chris, this is the ex exit, so... That's the exit? Yep. So we're gonna head back in and maybe go to the right. Oh, no, we gotta go out. Okay. You wanna go to the right, the Garden of Gethsemane? Yeah, Did you wanna go take go a right. picture there? Did you? Yeah. Oh, let's... I did already. Okay. Let's go this way. Let's go this way. Oh, okay. That's the kids' area. So let's go back the other way. I mean, I could do a video with yeah, yeah. show them some of the. Okay. So um, right here we have the Garden of Gethsemane. And that's where Jesus at prayed and he asked. For this cup to be taken from him uh, because he just felt like he was just praying and, and praying and you know we had that moment where it's like my way but not my own but your own Lord but you still stressed out and you don't know what you want to do and you just ask for prayer and so everybody this is beautiful I mean the way it is oh Chris you can take a picture with it that's how, why they're taking Don Don, this is why they're taking a picture kneeling, see? That's just like the picture. That's why that lady was doing it, see? Yeah, I know. That's how he prayed, and that's why they have the mat there. Yeah, I know. I saw that part. Yeah, you want to do that, Christian? Yeah. Put on, get on your knees. There you go. Oh, that's awesome. That's so pastoral. That's something that we will totally keep in mind for like years to come it's not so much things you know in the world that are revolving and are around the works and life of Christ and when you have an opportunity to go you definitely make time and and do that and um, this is part of the gift shop oh look they have an Israel flight Oh, look, Chris, they got a half-off sale over there. Yeah? Yeah, half-off. And then look at the Israel flag. That's pretty cool. Yeah, it opens at, back at 4. Oh, it's 12. Yeah. Wow, that's nice. Maybe we'll go in. Oh, look, the dreidel. The it's dreidel toy. Video, uh, area. Yeah. So this is the children's area, and it's called uh, Smiles of a Child Theater. And in the theater, they have opportunity for the kids to do coloring, and there's some videos, and um, it kind of gives the parents a break. It's air conditioning in there. That's my son. That's pretty cool. Oh, you take a picture of him, Chris? Get all the pictures you can, and then they've got this little bean bag toss in here. Um, we're tossing at the devil. <laughs> and then lions and pandas. It's beautiful with all of the... Um, giraffes and the babies the sheep and lambs did you get pictures of all the animals here Donish you got pictures of all the animals okay Ten Commandments again yeah I think you'll slide off I mean it's pretty cool the polar bear from the elephant just a lot of beautiful things that they've actually arranged here for the children the kangaroos every manner of life an animal in here and I think part of it ties in with Noah's Ark um, so we have 
So you actually can play golf here and there's a hole in one there. And this is the arc. Ooh, ooh, sorry. So this is the arc here. And you can actually play golf. You just go inside of the Smile of a Child Theater um, and ask them for some of the equipment, like the, um, can't even think of it. But the golf clubs and you're good to go. So, I mean, it definitely gives you a little break while the parents are looking at everything. Because it can be serious. This is a pretty cool thing, an opening right here. This is when uh, David threw the rock at Goliath. Yeah, I saw that. That's pretty cool. Did you take a picture? Did you take a picture? Chris, I'm on the other side. You can actually play golf here, too. You just ask for golf clubs, Don, and you can play. So this is David and Goliath. Um, and this is the entrance to Noah's Ark. So this is pretty cool. Hey, Chris, this is Noah's Ark. He saw it. Can you take a picture of that for me? Oh, okay. Oh, you got a lot of pictures there. Yeah, you can play golf here. Yeah, I know. I'm playing golf. Can you hold that for me? Oh, so we're going to go into... So that's what I was saying about the Smile of a Child Theater. You actually get your uh, golf clubs. So, in here. And then, look, this thing. Oh, wow. You didn't expect that you're going to have... No, you're fine. You didn't expect that you're going to actually have all of this here. And then... Pretty cool. So we're going to head out. And we're going to take you to the right of the, the Children's Theater. Um, I mean, everything is really solid. You hear that? It's really solid. And then this is when Jesus was actually born. And Mary and Joseph at his birth with the donkeys and the sheep and the lamb. Oh, this is really cool. All right, guys. So this is just a part of the um, area in the Holy Land experience. And we'll be back and show you another area. Okay. Bye-bye.